It is amazing to me that Liam Neeson has been doing the same role since 2008 for 16 years and people are still watching, including myself. Welcome into the channel. Today we'll be talking about In the Land of Saints and Sinners, a new action film that will be coming to theaters on March 29th. And I got a little bit of an early screener to check this one out and let you guys know if it's worth a watch. Now this film was directed by Robert Lorenz and he's done two other films. He's done Trouble with the Curve and The Marksman. And I have seen The Marksman, which was an okay film. It stars Liam Neeson, Carrie Condon, and Jack Gleason. Now what is this film about? Well, it takes place in an Irish village, and you have Liam Neeson, who is a retired ex-assassin. He's trying to live the peaceful life, and of course, he can't get out of it, and he has this group that is coming after him. I want to start off by saying in the positives that the cinematography for this film is done rather well. You see the Irish countryside. You have like the beach there. You have peaks, valleys. You see all the fresh green grass it looks absolutely wonderful it's almost like they're trying to advertise me to actually go to ireland and travel there because it looks absolutely stunning and beautiful throughout this film just them just driving through the roads and certain scenery within that whole element i mean it's just there particularly well and they do an amazing job with that so i definitely have to give props for that the music itself it definitely flows with the film it blends in some irish music and it definitely fits in with their culture as well so i definitely appreciated that they actually threw that into the film and definitely makes the film feel like it definitely has that irish feel to it as you're watching the film Liam neeson is killing ira radical bomb makers and he wants to get out of this whole situation until he sees a young girl that is being abused by an ira bomb maker once he sees that he's back into the game and he has a bunch of villains chasing after him specifically carrie condon who is after him after he killed her brother they really try to build up his character like a denzel washington and the equalizer but i don't really think that he ever really gets to the point of a denzel washington in this film i think out of a lot of films that he's done i think this character is a very bland character line delivery in here he's just being liam neeson he doesn't have any funny lines like even in the worst of movies that he has that i don't actually enjoy i can actually laugh at some of the lines that he actually has but he doesn't really have any of that in this film there are certain scenes in here where he does get back into the assassination game and he does kill some people and those kills they happen kind of quickly, and a lot of the action in here, it's very infrequent. The first scene in this film, it shows a bomb actually blowing up, which it looks like they're using CGI fire. It doesn't look like it's practical effects in the slightest, which probably dives into the budget, of course. And when we actually see Liam Neeson in this town, there are certain points where there is some action, which I would say the action it isn't always that great. It has little brief, short little moments where you feel like, okay, it's gonna amp up a little bit, but then it really slows back down and we get a lot of talking from character to character, which there is a lot of characters in this film, but a lot of them, they don't really have a lot to do. They don't really add a lot to the film. And a lot of them are very immemorable. The main villain here that is going after him, she isn't that greatest, I would say, at the villain part. She's okay. I think that she does have her presence a little bit within the film where she really makes her presence known and you feel like oh man she really means business but I never really felt like she was a really menacing lead I just felt like she was one of those characters where she was just kind of there to just go through the script it's generic in that point because it feels like a film that you've seen time and time again and that's a problem with Liam Neeson he has these films where he's an ex-assassin leaving the quiet life we've seen this time and time again he gets the same roles over and over again and I feel like this film it never gets to the point where I really felt really gripped to the story I felt like he was just kind of going through the motions I felt like there were times where it was elevated a little bit by the action some explosions here and there but there's not a lot of that it's a relentless game of cat and mouse story where Liam Neeson he really has to face whether he wants to get his redemption or should he use his violent skills to the test now this film I'm gonna say that it's probably not going to relate to a 
Americans very well. I haven't seen any marketing for this film. The only reason that I've even heard of this film is because it was on a festival and a couple people I have seen on the Twitter side have talked about this film and how it's a little bit different from Liam Neeson's roles. But I don't really feel that way. I've seen a lot of good reviews for it, which to each their own if they really like this film. But I just found this film to be boring at points. I felt like Liam Neeson just didn't have a lot of drive to his character. I didn't feel like any character really had drive to them. If there was a trailer release where people saw this in a theater, which I have not, I really think that people would think because it's Liam Neeson that there would be a lot of action. And because there is so infrequent of action, I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed with that. And I'm very curious to see how Americans actually react to this film. I really think it's a film where you really need quite a bit of patience with it and to understand that it's not a full on action film. And when it does have infrequent action scenes, you got to understand that they're very brief and you're not going to get a very prolonged shoot 'em up action kind of film. It's just not that kind of film. And if you're looking for a lot of characterization, I don't think this film has it. I think it really lacks character which is something I really look forward to having in a film and if it doesn't have it a lot of times I can really kind of doze out of the film and this film I really felt like as it was going on and on I really started to really slip away from the film because it just really felt like it wasn't that interesting it felt like something that I've seen before obviously with the little girl we've seen that in the marksman where he was rescuing this little boy and in this part he is rescuing this little girl so it's something that we've seen him do before as far as the score for this film I would give it a two out of five cinematography is done well sounds fine and I also think that the music really matches up well but outside of those technical aspects of the film, I really never got gripped to this film. It wasn't for me, and I know that some people are going to really dig this film. They probably really love Liam Neeson. I tend to try to get into his films. I like certain ones here and there, but a lot of the ones as of late, I just really haven't liked. And in this one, because there really isn't any line that I can really remember that he actually has, even in the worst of films... I can't say that this is a film that I'm actually going to remember by the end of the year, and that's why I can only give it a 2 out of 5. It's just a little bit too bland for me, a little bit too generic, and I just feel like I can't relate to it overall, especially with the history of Ireland and this whole IRA, radicals, bomb makers. I can't really get into that. I don't have any relation to that, so it's very difficult for me to get into the subject matter. Let me know down in the comments, what did you guys think about this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? And if you haven't checked it out yet, are you going to check it out on streaming? Are you going to skip it? Or are you going to check it out in the theater? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.